In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to compute the measures of relative standing uh, for any observation in a data set. Um, and there are two measures of relative standing. Uh, they're also called uh, measures of position. And one of them is the z-score. And to compute the z-score, we have the following uh, formula. So if we have an observation, um, we're going to take the observation, we're going to subtract the mean, and we're going to divide all that by the standard deviation. So this is the formula that we always use to compute the z-score. In our case, the observation is 24. It says find the z-score of 24. So here's the 24. It seems like it's pretty high up there in the data set because all the data is in the data set is organized in order. So it should have a pretty high z-score. Now, in order for us to use this formula, we have to have uh, the observation, which is 24. Uh, we have to have the mean, which here it says the mean and standard deviation are respectively these two numbers. So this is my mean, this is my standard deviation. So here is my mean, and I'm going to put it in this formula to replace the mean. And I'm going to replace the standard deviation with this number. So that's it. All I have to do is just press enter, or if you're using any other technology, just find a way to do this uh, uh, formula in this exact order. First, we sub subtract the mean, then we divide by the standard deviation. Uh, here is my z score, and I had to round it to two decimal places, so I'm going to round this uh, to 0, 1.04. All right, now let's find the percentile of 24. Um, what does it mean to find the percentile? So we basically want to um, find the number of observations that are less than or equal to 24 um, in relation to the total size of the data set. So in our case, 24 ranks 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, uh, it ranks 10 out of 11. So to find its percentile, we can do 10 out of 11. Uh, and we just have to write this in, uh, we have to round it to the, we have to multiply it by 100 and then round it to the nearest unit. So this number rounded to, multiplied by 100, this is the percentages. And now we have to round it to the nearest one. Um, and that will be our percentile. So 24 is the 91st percentile. So I guess the grammar is a little off here, but um, it's the fact. 24 is pretty high up there. So submit this, and we got the right answer. So let's try another problem. Uh, this time we have to try to find the z-score of number 8. 8 is right there, so we would expect a z-score to be very small. To find the z-score, we're going to subtract the mean, and we're going to divide it by the standard deviation, and that's going to be the z-score. This z-score is negative. Why? Because um, uh, the observation is below average. The average is 14.1, uh, and 8 is below average. So now I'm going to round this to the nearest hundredth. So this is the answer. So it has a negative z-score. Now to find the percentile, I'm just going to find the ranking of 8 in relation to the size of the data set. So 8 is ranked number 3 in this data set. And, um, and let's uh, count the total number of observations in this data set. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So it ranks 3 out of 11. So its percentile will be uh, 27.2, but we're going to round it to the nearest unit, which is 27. So uh, we discussed how to compute the measures of relative standing for any observation in any data set.